Good morning. It's Memorial Day weekend. I am up in Rangeley, Maine, and I am tackling the New England 100 highest peaks in this area this weekend. Yesterday I did Elephant Mountain and East Kennebago. And then today I'm trying for Whitecap, Kennebago Divide, and Snow Mountain. Let's go drive on some main logging and woods roads to get to those trailheads. Parked my car and now I'm off. I have to walk up Bearbrook Road um, quite a ways to actually start going up the mountains. I could continue driving for a little bit, but the road is in pretty poor quality. There were several really rocky sections and uh, the last thing I wanna do is get myself in a situation where I can't drive my car out. Hopefully getting three New England 100 highest peaks today. After I do Kennebago Divide and Whitecap, I'll be going over to Snow Mountain, which is a relatively short hike, five miles round trip, I think, and just one peak. I'm not anticipating too many navigational challenges on this hike because the road should lead me up to the coal between the two peaks um, and then it's herd paths up to each of them which are supposedly relatively easy to follow so I'm trusting the trip reports that I read um, are true and that I won't have much trouble because Elephant Mountain yesterday was brutal I it was a lot of um, my fault because I've, I veered off the herd path a few times. It was difficult to follow, but I was swimming in spruce. Like those sections where I was off the herd path, it was, I was like not walking on ground. It was like hopping between down trees to get me through those sections. It was nightmare. It's super closed in too, so. I think it was like activating some claustrophobic type fear that sits deep within me because <laughs> I was a little uh, nervous for a little bit you know I'm used to bushwhacking in the Catskills where it's relatively mild and not super dense <laughs> and I can see more of where I'm going That is Kennebago Divide up there. And then I believe the summit of Whitecap is just beyond that bump. So I've left the woods road and it's turned into a more of an ATV road, I guess. Um, I'm following a few GPS tracks that I downloaded beforehand from others who have done this. The solitude on these hikes has been both awesome and, you know, it makes me a little nervous being out here alone. I mean, I am in the middle of just a bunch of woods. Probably no service. 
So the herd path splits off a little bit before the call. I know I could also head up to the call and then just get the peaks from there. Um, taking this left turn will put me closer to Kennebago Divide. So I'm thinking about doing that. And then I'll come back down this, this direction from Whitecap. It's a decent amount of snow. I'm not even at the summit. So I, I guess this, this mountain gets maybe a little less sun at least on this side. At the summit of Kennebago Divide, I think it's also known as North Kennebago, so I'm gonna sign in and probably hang for a sec and have something to eat and get back going towards Whitecap Mountain. So this view is looking towards Canada and Whitecap Mountain, I think is right there. And then Boundary Peak, which I climbed back September, 2022 is right there. Top trekking pole is pointing. I think Mount Goes Ford, if I'm pronouncing that correct, is the one right behind it, right there. Got all the pictures I wanted, ate some food, and now I am on the way back towards the call, being headed off to Whitecap. In the call between Whitecap and Kennebago Divide. There's not really a herd path that goes in between the two, at least that I've seen. However, the woods are fairly open, so I'm just kind of picking a line and hopefully meeting up with the herd path up to Whitecap. Shouldn't be too far away. Intersected the herd path and now should be around six tenths to get up to the summit. At the summit of White Cap, it's a canister right up there. This is New England 100 highest, 78 out of 100. I'm gonna take a break here and then get on going down the mountain back to the car. It's uh, about 11 right now, so plenty of time left in the day. Kind of disappointed, I haven't seen any moose lately. I've seen a lot of moose tracks and moose poop but no moose. Even driving, I haven't seen them. Heading down from Whitecap now. Should make quick work of it. Hopefully get back to the car around 12.30, maybe one. And then from there, it's a fairly short drive over to the snow parking lot. at the parking lot for snow cup septic and i am about to get going just had lunch and rested for a little bit it's a short drive between trailheads took about 20 minutes but i'm gonna get ready and head on out Snow Mountain is right behind me, right over there. It's a short hike, I think five miles in total, or a little under. You start pretty pretty high up, so uh, there's not much ascent and you know, not much mileage.
top of snow cupsoptic. The canister is there. Sign is above me. And I'm going to sign it. Try to see if I can find a view on this mountain. I don't think there are many. There are some bare patches where I might be able to sneak a view or two. But other than that, pretty straightforward hike up. So a moose uh, passed away here, uh, according to a bunch of trip reports I read. Um, and all the bones are scattered along the herd path. Um, a lot of the other bones have been picked over, I guess. This is what remains. That's a huge, I'm guessing that's a tibia. Could be wrong, but I think that might be kind of big o divide. And then that one in the background might be Boundary Peak. It's really tough to tell because it's obscured by trees a little bit, but according to GPS, that's the direction of both those peaks. That's that. Snow cup septic. And now all of the bushwhack peaks in Maine for the New England 100 highest I've done. If you watched, thank you for watching and enjoy these last few clips of the scenic Maine woods roads.